I became a member of the AOP when I first qualified, which is nearly 15 years ago. When I received a letter from the GOC in the post, that will go down as the worst day in my life. Realising that you made a mistake is the worst feeling that you could ever go through as a professional. I went home, I broke down, I cried, and then I rang the AOP. I left a message on their answering machine, and within about 30 minutes, I would got a telephone call from one of the members of the legal team. I was assigned my solicitor, Ella Power, and from then on, me and Ella had a very close relationship regarding this case. I joined the AOP basically because I needed professional indemnity insurance. I never even considered the reason why I really needed to join the AOP, and that was for the massive legal support that they have given me. My case ended up going on for a period of two and a half years from the initial um, receipt of the GOC complaint letter through to my final uh, fitness to practice um, committee hearing. There were five allegations made against me. I pleaded guilty to one of those allegations. Uh, the other four allegations um, were not proven against me. Without the AOP and the support of Ella and the barrister that the AOP appointed for me, I think I would have been in a much worse situation. The GOC decided to give me a warning and find that um, I was not impaired to practice. I have a very good reputation within the community, great rapport with our local hospitals, uh, during the fitness to practice hearing, it was one of the most humbling experiences being able to read the references that were given by friends, colleagues, um, patients. The support was amazing. Once it was all done and dusted, the weight lifted off my shoulders almost instantly. I went home, we went, we went away for the weekend, I slept beautifully for the first time in two and a half years. If you're involved in an investigation or a complaint has been made against you, the only organisation I would want by my side is the AOP.